Hi everyone, my name is Christine and I'm a front-end web developer. I actually just started programming six months ago and I found my first dev job about three months. So now I've been a web developer for about three to four months now and I really love it. So this talk I'm just gonna give a little background um, about myself and my interest in coding and also how, what I did to land my first job. Um, so I graduated from the University of Oklahoma about four years ago with a political science degree and I didn't really know what exactly to do with a political science degree. I was confused and lost and so I decided that I wanted to be a lawyer or be a makeup artist, be other different things. I had so many different hobbies that I wanted to do. And I contemplated, thought about it, and I realized that those are the type of jobs that I might not be interested in the long run. And so I got into coding when I landed my first job in the marketing field, and I worked with HTML templates and WYSIWYG. And a lot of the stuff that I did before was mainly just um, coding uh, the tables inside the WYSIWYG, very simple stuff. And I realized that I wanted to do more in life. I didn't want to stay at my old job because you know, I just feel like I will plateau quickly. So I looked around for different types of classes. I looked into getting a computer science degree, but I realized that you don't really need a computer science degree to do web development. And I really like web development because I like art and design. So I feel like that will be something I'm good at. So I looked around online for some classes and a lot of the classes were really expensive. One class to learn JavaScript was about two grand that I saw. And so I was like, you know, I feel like I could find something else, you know, maybe try a different route, some other classes that may be cheaper. Um, and then I saw OK Coders, which is where I met Carson. He was one of my instructors at OK Coders and had helped me a lot throughout my journey. So I just want to say thank you, Carson, very, very much. <laughs> but uh, so I found OK Coders, and it's basically a six month module or six modules, six months long boot camp class every Saturday. And you learn everything about web development, starting with beginning with HTML, CSS. You learn how to use your command line. You learn how to use your GitHub, where you push all your files and into GitHub. And then also JavaScript libraries, which is really, really important if you're looking to be a front-end developer. Um, so yeah, uh, I attended boot camp for about six months. And a lot of the work I had to code, I have to practice coding every single day and get better. Um, the classes were only four hours long every week, and I knew that you have to put extra work into, um, you have to put in the extra work outside of class. So, you know, I studied a lot. Uh, I read all my documentation. That's probably the most important thing, is reading your documentation and starting out. And that's what I did. I use all my online resources. I practice on Code Academy, Udemy, um, Lynda.com. Those are great. Um, if you want to get into coding, those are great online resources to take and practice on. Um, I also asked a lot of help from people. Uh, I joined Techlahoma, met a lot of the great developers in the community. And just getting advice from people or people who have experience in this type of career really helped me um, love being a developer even more. The excitement of you know, seeing people creating so many cool uh, things, it's just, sorry, <laughs> I got nervous. But creating a lot of cool things is just amazing and, it's, and I think that's why we all want to be developers is that we wanna create something and build something of our own. And so, um, anyways, I practice a lot and then I was also looking for a job at the same time, knowing that I'm probably not qualified. But I gave it a shot anyways. I just kept trying and um, I attended job fairs and brushed up my resume. Um, I created a portfolio. I created a lot of side projects and pushed everything to my GitHub 
to show that I put in a lot of work. Even if I know my code wasn't that great, I just pushed everything into my GitHub and then um, finally got my first dev job um, at a marketing company who's willing to take this opportunity opportunity on me even though they know that I'm probably, I'm still really new and not fully qualified. Um, I got the job and I was really excited, got a little content and about two weeks ago I actually almost lost my job um, because I wasn't practicing enough outside of work and that's the most important thing that I want to tell you guys starting out as a developer. If you have not much or no prior program experience, you have to practice. Even when you get the job, you have to practice outside of work. And I just, I got too content, I was too happy, and I relaxed, and then, you know, I was in a very tough spot where they said that I need to improve, or it just won't work out. And I was given two weeks to show improvement at my job, and I did it. And <laughs> it was very, it, it was a lot of work. Um, I just, whatever I did at work, I showed them. And I had better communication with my senior developers. That's also one important thing that you guys have to know is communication with your fellow developers. Um, that was one thing that I didn't do very well. I, I was the type of person that I wanted to learn everything. My front end skills weren't even that great and I wanted to learn to do PHP and SQL and all the back end. And I took in work that I don't even know what I was coding. They gave me PHP and SQL and I'm just sitting here trying to figure it out when I realized that sometimes you have to say no. When you're not ready for something, you have to say no. And so I was honest to them and said, hey, I'm, I'm not ready for this yet and I need to practice on my front end skills and that's what I did. Um, so when you get your new job, when you get your developer job, make sure you are fluent with all your languages before jumping into something else. For me, I just, I just wanted to learn everything. I couldn't say no because I was scared to say no. I wanted, I wanted to learn everything and be good at everything. And sometimes, you know, it, it's, you have to take it one step at a time. I thought being a developer means you have to know, you know, React, you have to know Angular, even though at my job we use jQuery, like I wanted to learn React and Angular, I wanna do all these things, but I know I have to take it one step at a time, and that's the important thing. Um, another thing is, besides that, <laughs> is getting feedback from your senior devs and you know, just your fellow developers that you're working with, especially when you're new. Um, getting feedback is great knowing your work process, like how you're doing, always ask them like, how am I doing? Do you think I'm doing okay? Because I know everyone has their own different techniques. So it's best to just have a good communication and getting feedback from your peers. And another one is never stop practicing, always keep learning. I'm still in the learning process right now. I mean, a couple of weeks ago, I was here trying to debug a bootstrap carousel. And I felt embarrassed debugging a bootstrap carousel because I'm like, well, this is so simple. Like, why can't I get it? But I learned that it's still a learning process for me. I'm still, I'm still learning. I can still continue to grow. And sometimes it's okay to ask for help. Even something so simple like bootstrap carousel or learning how to use bootstrap. It's never embarrassing to ask questions because you actually learn from asking questions. Just don't ask the same questions over and over. Ask and absorb. That's the most important thing. But yeah. And then another thing is, oh, yeah, this is probably important too, but try to use the same IDEs as your fellow developers. I know we all have, you know, a preference that we use. Like, I like Visual Studio Code. Um, that's just my preference. But I know, like, at my job and stuff, we use PHP Storm or, like, Atom and stuff like that. I just think it's... You don't, you don't have to do it, but I think it helps with the workflow and the process when you use the same IDE as your fellow peers. Um, that usually helps a lot. And then another tip is when you get your first project, it's always good to whiteboard it out. Draw a map of how you're going to build your website. 
you know, have an idea before you actually start coding. That was my mistake too, is I didn't really have an idea, and so I kind of just started coding random things. When you have to whiteboard it out, you have to talk to your boss. Don't try to take initiative with anything. Not, well, don't try to take initiative with everything and not letting your fellow developers know. Always, always try to whiteboard it out. And then another thing is um, build a lot of side projects. If you have anything you're interested in building, do it after work hours. You know, take the weekend off. Don't go out with your friends. Like, if you have to improve, you have to just start practicing more and more. Build something cool. Like, I want to eventually build an app, but I don't know what app yet. But there we go. Um, another thing is don't be afraid to try new things. Um, code something different. Don't code the same thing over and over. Right now, since I'm still pretty new, I am practicing on building my jQuery maps. Um, I built a couple maps before, and uh, but I'm still practicing. I'm not that great with the map. I'm learning how to style maps with JavaScript. So build something new, try something new at least every single week, and you'll get better and just learn that way. Um, But yeah, it's, um, so that's all I really have with the tips and advice um, in my story. It's just really practicing, using your online resources, um, talk to your peers, also have good communication with your boss. Um, when finding a job, push yourself out there, join organizations, that's what I did. You know, I joined Techlahoma, I joined Free Code Camp, I talked with my instructors, that's the most important thing, is just communicating with fellow developers that could give you really good advice. And also, don't take criticism as an insult, always take cri criticism as something you can prove and learn from. And that's the most important thing, is, um, and then, yeah, getting feedback, build some side projects, draw a map, um, yeah, that's really all that I have. I know it's kind of short, but if anyone has any questions or, yeah. Like. Well, my interview was actually very short. Um, I didn't really take a test or anything. I know some companies require you to take a test. I actually um, took a test a couple weeks before that with an HR recruiter when I was trying to find a job, um, just testing my JavaScript. And I did all right on that, but they didn't hire me on. Uh, another company saw that I was very motivated to learn and try new things. And also, they liked the fact that at my previous job, I wore many hats. Like, I did all the digital content at my job. And I was lucky enough because the company I worked for really needed someone. And so I got the job as a web developer. That's it. I just told him my experience and everything, gave him my portfolio, and then, yeah, from there. Yep. Um, the most useful thing that I did was mainly reading my documentation <laughs> in the beginning. Um, I can't, I can't say this enough, but. Reading your documentation is so, so important. That's what I spent my time doing um, outside of work now, is just reading through everything carefully. And even though I was in boot camp class, I missed like the little things here and there because I was trying to code out my portfolio, but even when I coded out, it still wasn't, it, it wasn't good. I did a lot of, what I did <laughs> was I would always inspect right click inspect in my console and then just go in there and debug. But when you actually read your documentation clearly and thoroughly, it really helps you to understand what you're doing a lot more. So I can just code it out now fluently rather than having to inspect all the time. You know? And so I did that and then just practice a lot online outside of work. Um, that was probably the most useful things that I did as a developer.
Well, it's like, so like on Bootstrap saying, you know, it gives you all the elements and stuff. So they have um, your columns, how to build Bootstrap columns, um, how to do responsive media queries and stuff like that. When you really read it through, it helps you understand how to build um, your columns on your web page. When I started out, I didn't know that in every div container, there are 12 columns. And reading that part made me understand that now, instead of having to inspect my element every time, I know that if I were to build two columns, it's just automatically column MD6, column MD6, and so forth. So it's like reading your documentation really helps you understand that. And also, once you get your HTML, CSS, and um, those skills down, it'll help you understand JavaScript more because you'll learn how to use DOM elements. And that's the key thing. So yeah, really read your documentation, man. <laughs> um, anybody else? Yeah, well now eight months, um, because I've been in my job for about three and a half months now. Um, but I got, actually got my first job at my last module of OK Coders Bootcamp class. So, yeah. Um, yes? <laughs> You just have to show, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, can you say, oh, okay. Sorry, can you? Okay, so he said that when you're a new developer, what does your company expect out of you when you first started versus three months in? So when you first started, they want you to get to get familiar with their process of working and also how they, you know, just really focus on their software. Um, I'm not sure how other jobs are, but I know in my company, we use a software where we import all our code codes in and the software was built by our uh, lead senior developer. And so that's the main thing is when you first start out is learning how to use the software, where to place your header code, where to put, place the footer, where do you place your link tags and everything in that, where do you place your JavaScript? That's the most important thing. And then further down the line, progress is, you know, they expect to see progress from you. You know, stop <laughs> putting inline styles in your HTML, start using CSS more, start writing multiple CSS to make the, codes short and clean. And so from, it's just really building more and more experience, seeing, um, not more experience, I'm sorry, uh, just seeing progress. Yeah. Yes. Uh, someone from Twitch said, what frameworks in JavaScript you would like to use? Um, so I'm really into React. Um, I want to get to learn React more. That's something I want to eventually do. Um, but hopefully React and Angular is something I'm interested uh, once I get my jQuery down. Yeah. Thanks. Anybody else? Anybody else? Oh, okay, yes. <laughs> he said, what skill set did I learn from Starspace 40, Teklahoma, Starspace 46 is the organization, that I could apply to my job? Um, honestly, it's how to start out and find a job, like how to connect. I got a lot of advice from Kimberly too, she's great, she's great, <laughs> by the way. But uh, I got a lot of advice from her on how to build uh, my resume. She gave me a lot of tips, and then another person I would like to mention is Carmen. She's helped me a lot too in um, building my resume. Um, always link your GitHub, you know, your portfolio on top of your resume so that people can see that the first thing. That was something, I did that on my resume, but I linked my portfolio in the back, and you don't wanna do that smart to do in the front so that everybody could see. Um, and a lot is just like, you know, help like debug learning how to use my console. That's what I learned. And yeah. Anybody else? Someone? Yes. Uh, 
uh, currently, I am building my friend's wedding website right now. Um, it's good. I like it so far. <laughs> it's not the best, but I like it. And uh, that, and then I coded out a tic-tac-toe game. <laughs> um, yeah, nothing too advanced, but hey, I'll get there, you know. You'll get there. I don't know if you're new, but anyways. Anybody else? No? Okay. Well, thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, Kimberly and Tecklahoma and everybody um, having me here today. Um, I hope I could shed some light in anybody that who wants to be a developer. Um, make sure to practice. Practice a lot. Read your documentation. 